Hi and welcome. In this video we're going to take a look at Adobe Bridge and where it fits into Adobe's scheme of editing software. Now I can feel a question on the minds of many of you like well what about Lightroom? Well Lightroom was designed for a specific user uh, and that being us photographers. Photoshop is for anyone and everyone. Photographers, graphic artists, designers, everyone. Now Lightroom has fantastic editing capabilities along with an amazing cataloging and database capability and a connectivity with Photoshop. So if you use Lightroom you're probably not going to have a use for Bridge. However, if you don't use Lightroom then you definitely should understand and use Bridge. So let's dig in and explore how Bridge will make your life much easier. Okay, in essence, there are three main parts to Photoshop. The first part of Photoshop is Bridge. Now, Bridge is a what you call a sophisticated file manager, and it's, it's an access point for Photoshop as well. Next, there's Adobe Camera Raw. And Adobe Camera Raw is the raw editor for processing all your raw files before entering into Photoshop. And finally, you've got Photoshop itself. Now, Photoshop is the powerhouse where layers and blending and more can achieve some amazing creative editing of your images. So, what is Bridge? Well, a sophisticated description is it's a digital asset manager, or DAM. The assets being your precious images. A less sophisticated description would be just a file manager that links to your computer operating file manager, but adds a ton of functionality for us to use with Photoshop. Now, the file management system that I use is in Windows operating system, and it's the File Explorer. So if we just open an Explorer here, we can see that this Explorer is targeted. This, these are all the folders. This is the folder structure that's on my computer. And this is what's called the breadcrumb trail. So you can see here that I'm in a folder called Seven Building Blocks of Photoshop, the interface, Adobe Bridge, Introduction to Bridge, and then Images. And that's the folder that contains these three images. Now, if we now look at Bridge here, we've got a folders panel, which we'll be doing much more about in a later video. But here you can see we can navigate to exactly the same place. Seven building blocks, the interface, Adobe Bridge and images. And you can see now we've got exactly the same images in here. So Bridge is not a separate entity. Rather, it's connected directly to the folder structure on my computer here in the folders panel. Now in the Windows one, its, it's functionality is very limited. I can get a little bit of information if I hover over it, uh, one of the, the thumbnails. Uh, I can't move them around easily. It's, it's not good. Whereas with Bridge, I've got the same view, but I've got all these panels that we're going to explore in the next video to help me and to make my life a lot easier. Now, if you look down on the taskbar, you'll see that both Photoshop and Bridge are both open together. Now, in earlier versions of Photoshop, the file browser used to be in Photoshop. So it was a little bit of a limitation because uh, if you were working in one, you couldn't work in the other. Now, Bridge is a self-hosted application, which means that you can have Bridge open without Photoshop or you could give Bridge a task and then let it go and still work in Photoshop at the same time. Well, that's a basic introduction to Bridge. Let's now take a look at the anatomy of the Bridge interface and how to leverage it for our advantage. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.